Hello there and welcome to Multi-Rate Signal Processing Seminar 3. This time we have a task that includes downsampling and upsampling using filtering that is designed with the window design method. Please refer to Professor Schuller's lectures and there you find everything you need to solve this task. So in this assignment, you must implement downsampling and upsampling of an audio file, including low-pass filtering, with a filter design designed using the window method. So we start by importing all the libraries that we are going to need. If you don't have one of these libraries installed, so please install them. And there are instructions on previous materials on how to install libraries. So Jimi Hendrix runs, he has all the libraries, everything's fine, so he can move on. Then you need to enter your matricle number here, because as usual, you get which audio file to use and which downsampling and upsampling factor to use based on your matricle number. So Jimi Hendrix enter, enters his matricle number here, then he runs the cell and Jimi Hendrix is very lucky and he was assigned to the classic from Led Zeppelin rock and roll and he needs to use downsampling and upsampling factor or four. And then here Jimi Hendrix and you can listen to 20 seconds and this is what we are going to use, 20 seconds of this song so you can pay attention to the frequency spectrum, the frequency details of the original audio file and also printing the audio shape of the audio file. Next, you just for visualization purposes we're displaying the original audio spectrogram. So here you can see a time frequency representation of the audio file. Then the first task is to design a filter so you can use this filter, this low pass filter in your downsampling and upsampling functions. And this filter function needs to take as a parameter the factor n and needs to return the filter coefficients for a low pass filter that is going to be used in downsampling and upsampling functions. So there are some requirements for you to design this filter and basically what you need to do is to complete this function here. There is some doc string here. This is the documentation of this function that gives some explanation what you need to do. And this function needs to take as an input the parameter n, which is the down and up sampling factor, and it needs to return an array containing the filter coefficients designed using the window method. In your function, you must use the window method to design the filter. You cannot use the remiss function or other functions. You must use the window method, like Professor Schuller explained in his lectures. For this function, you must also use the signal windows get window function from SciPy. As you're using the window method, you're going to need a window function, and you must use this function here to get your window. So if you don't know this function, go to the documentation, check the help of this function, because you, if you don't use this function, you will not pass this task. And the minimum design requirements for this filter, they are detailed in this frequency response here. And your filter must match this required frequency response or needs to be better than that. And when I say better, it means that you can design a filter with a smaller transition band and or higher attenuation in the stop band. But you must have in mind that you must respect the stop band frequency and you cannot have a transition that is greater than this. So if your filter matches exactly this frequency response, that's very good. You don't need more than that. If your filter is better than this, it's also good. But if your filter is not fulfilling these requirements, then 
you not um, succeed. So here is the filter window method function that you need to complete. So Jimi Hendrix entered his Jimi Hendrix magic function here. And next, you can run the cell so you can see the frequency response of your design compared to the minimum specs of the required filter. So we can see that Jimi Hendrix filter is different than um, the minimum requirements. So Jimi Hendrix thinks it's very good, so he will continue with this with his um, assignment, but have in mind that Jimi Hendrix is already making a lot of mistakes because he's not respecting the stop band frequency and he's not respecting the transition band. So Jimi Hendrix will continue, but we already know that he will not get all the points from this assignment. So be careful when you design your filter, try to match this frequency response. If you follow Professor Schurer's lectures on filter design using the window method, you should have no problems in matching this function here. Or if you don't match exactly these requirements, your filter needs to be better than this. So probably you could have something flat here or flat here, but you need to respect the stop band frequency and you need to respect this um, minimum transition band. So your trans transition band cannot be bigger than what is here and your stop band frequency needs to respect this and the attenuation in the stop band must also have these minimum values minus more or less minus 80 dB here. So your filter is designed and now you can move to implement a downsampling function and an upsampling function. So there is a requirement for your function that you must use the filter designed before. So you cannot just try to design a filter here and then you didn't succeed and then you try to go inside here and you try to put a filter that is not the one you design, like a Remez algorithm. So NB greater, you detect this and you will not get the points. So Jimi Hendrix has his Hendrix magic downsampling function that solves everything. He checked the Professor Schuler lecture notes. He checked some collab um, notebooks that are available, some tutorials video lectures and everything and he knows how to implement a downsampling function he used the filter that he designed before and we already know that this filter is not according to the parameters so even if everything here inside is working fine Jimi Hendrix will not get the point but he doesn't know that he made a mistake so he continues and then he can listen to the result of the downsampled downsampling. So he has here a downsampled version. This function takes as a parameter an audio array that it's already used before. The sampling frequency of this audio, which is also defined before when you ran this function here, you got the sample rate that we're going to use of the original audio you have the audio data array, so you don't need to worry about this. You just need to use these values in the function here. And we see that now the audio data shape has changed. The sampling frequency also changed because we are using a downsampling factor of 4. So 48,000 divided by 4 is 12,000 and this is our new sampling frequency. And your function needs to calculate also here this fs down, which is the down sample uh, sam sampling frequency. And it's to return this audio down, which is the down sampled version of the original audio data. So when you run this cell here, it's a read only cell, you don't need to change anything, it's just taking the correct parameters for the function you 
created here and it returns as you should return also from here the new downsampled version of the audio and the new sampling frequency and it will print and you can listen and of course you can also take a look at the spectrogram so we already see that now our spectrogram goes only to 6 kilohertz you can see there is a some difference you can compare with the original audio that it went all the way to 24 kilohertz we had frequencies here until more or less 16 kilohertz here we see frequencies more or less here until 4 kilohertz the maximum value is 6 kilohertz so half the sampling the new sampling frequency which is 12 kilohertz so down sampling is done and now you need to implement an up sampling that means that you need to fill this function here and there is the same requirement as before you need to use your filter window method function so your filter window method functions need to be inside here so Jimi Hendrix did so he defined for example the length of his filter then he defined um, the cutoff frequency with some formulas then he used his function filter window method and he is passing the par parameters which is the as defined here the down sampling and up sampling factor so he needs to use this and as we know if we are down sampling and up sampling by the same factor this up sampling frequency here needs to match the original sampling frequency of the original audio so we had 48 kilohertz we downsampled by a factor of 4 we reach 12 kilohertz after downsampling which is here then we must upsample by a factor of 4 so 4 times 12 is back to 48 kilohertz so this is what your function here needs to do and you need to calculate this return here and also to have this new upsampled version of the audio that you return from this function upsampling then again we are calling this function with the correct parameters our audio downsampled version that now we want to upsample it back to the original sampling frequency it takes the sampling rate of this audio data and also the upsampling factor and now we are back to some shape we are back to the original sampling frequency and it calculates again the factor of upsampling and you can also listen to the upsampled version and you can see when you run the cell now is the original audio spectrogram that we've seen before and the upsampled version and we see it's quite different so it should sound without these mid and high frequencies here in our case here we just have frequencies more or less below 4 kilohertz and then you completed your task so basically you need to design a filter using the window method so you complete this function here called filter window method takes as a parameter the down and up sampling factor n and returns the filter coefficients so follow professor Schuler's lectures that he explains everything about filter design using the window method there are tutorials online video tutorials there is a um, collab notebook with interactive examples there are professor Schuler's Python examples so you have everything what you need to design this function here return correctly the filter coefficients check your design so you can compare your design with this minimum 
specifications, the minimum requirements, try to match. The simplest way is to try to match this frequency and phase response or you can design a different filter but this filter needs to be better than this one respecting the stop band frequency, stop band attenuation in transition width and also the cutoff frequency so the minus 3 dB frequency. Once you have your low pass filter we move on to downsampling so you need to fill this function here you must use the filter window method that you used before make sure that you include this function here inside your window filter filter window method so you here you must use that function from scipy signal to get your window function and then most of the code here is just for you to listen to the results inspect have a feasible inspect of the, the results and if you think it's fine then you can submit your assignment and then NB grader will check if your filter matches the specifications and if your audio matches the specifications so I hope you understand what you have to do I wish you good luck in your assignment look at the materials you have everything there what you need to complete this task successfully pay very much attention to the instructions thank you for your time and we meet again in another opportunity